Hello and welcome back to another exciting chess game. This one was played really recently and actually just finished between Parham Maksutlu playing as white and his opponent Superstar from India, Vidit. Uh, what is interesting about this game is that the game was pretty balanced until the middle game and we were expecting a normal game going into the end game. But Vidit made a mistake. He missed a tactic and uh, unfortunately Parham Maksutlu used it to his advantage and managed to convert it into a win a really instructive game as well for you that you can see that these tactics happen even in grandmaster games and spotting those tactics uh, can help you win your games also a small update from the tournament Norderbeck is at the moment leading with five points uh, just behind him is Parha Maksutlu and also Pragnanda if he wins this game that is still playing he will also help, uh, have four and a half points uh, and behind them is uh, and Guen playing as uh, with four points he's on the fourth spot right now he's also having a really nice uh, tournament so it's gonna be a really really uh, battle until the end so Parham opened the game with knight f3 we have d5 on the board a g3 and knight f6 played for Vidit bishop g2 and e6 played here for black we have castle for white bishop e7 normal developing move we are now in king's indian we have c4 and right now with c4 we are uh, transposing into neo catalan defense we have castle for black b3 white's main idea is to fianchetto this white bishop we have c5 on the board black is now trying to capture the center e3 white refuses he wants black to take this pawn we have knight to c6 we have bishop to b2 white continues his original idea and right now we have a push by vidit with d4 we have a trade in the center and right now a rookie one was played which is a completely decent move waiting for black's decision taking the advantage of the semi-open file again continued with a rook to e8 for black d3 for white right now white wants to develop his knight but he doesn't want to develop it to a3 a bishop b4 right now attacking this uh, rook we have knight b to d2 and after e5 we have a3 so white wants to move his knight to much a better place and unfortunately he's unable to do that because of this dark squared bishop bishop three retreats and right now we have a b4 on the board white is taking a lot of space in the center bishop f5 was played for black to target this pawn and we have c5 firstly attacking this bishop so black is forced to react he goes with bishop c7 and right now we have a knight to c4 here played for white moving the knight to a much better square and also protecting this pawn a6 was played for black with the idea to push this pawn with uh, uh, b5 and we have a queen to c2 here played uh, by white computer marks this is a mistake actually and after a6 computer has this insane line with a4 actually uh, sacrificing your pawn here and then after this sacrifice you will play knight f to e5 and that is how computer wants this game to continue so really interesting uh, interesting thing by the recommendation by the computer of course it's not visible to humans so we have queen to c2 here played uh queen to d7 for black rook a to d1 bishop to g4 kind of targeting this knight and also pinning it we have rook to d2 played for white queen goes on f5 right now attacking this knight knight goes on h4 attacking this queen and right now again we are coming to the another mistake of the position uh, so after knight to h4 actually uh, best was to retreat your queen to d7 and not on h5 which was played in the game and you will uh, see why this is a mistake so we will go back queen to h5 was played which is a mistake h3 pulling away this bishop we have bishop retreating to e6 kind of targeting this knight but white is perfectly fine with that we have rook d to e2 right now white is trying to pressure this pawn on e5 uh, black again has to react we have a bishop to d5 uh, putting your bishop for a trade and also protecting this pawn we have knight to d2 played here for white we have bishop takes on g2 king takes on g2 and right now we have knight to d5 <coughs> pardon played for black knight d2 f3 was played for uh, 
Parha Maxutlu. Now after knight to d5, a computer sees here that actually and recommends playing a knight to e4 as a better as a better alternative here and right now uh, computer gives a only a slight advantage or even equal position here for for white as well with knight d2 f3 knight d2 f3 position is kind of uh, weakened for white although white is doing perfectly fine we have rook a to d8 right now played for black and queen to c4 played for uh, parham max utlu parham is setting up a tactic that we did completely missed and that is knight to f6 is a huge blunder it seems like a completely normal move nothing is hanging nothing is is compromised right now but parham finds this beautiful bishop c1 move and why is this move so great well simply you want to cut away any possibility of this queen escaping parham noticed that this queen is misplaced and he wants to chase it off immediately pushing g4 is not available but one of those moves is for example playing this bishop on g5 and then pushing g4 when everything is protected and this queen will fall and this is basically the beginning of the end of this vidit's game unfortunate for, he, for him another mistake by vidit now this position is practically almost over uh, white already has a huge advantage but you a computer here recommends playing uh, king to f8 and right now after bishop to g5 we have a rook to e6 as a recommendation by the computer and right now white can play queen to c1 but let's say white immediately picks up this then we can pick up with g to f6 or rook to f6 rook to f6 is slightly better white continues with g4 and after only remaining square here on h6 we continue with g5 forking the queen and the rook rook goes on g6 and right now unfortunately you cannot pick up this queen but you will have to satisfy yourself with this uh rook here and after that queen takes on g6 at least queen is safe but uh vidit already had like uh, three and a half minutes here so it was a really in difficult situation here uh so he made this blunder with h6 this by the way is completely losing for black as well white simply is an exchange up um but after uh after h6 uh white continues with this beautiful rook to e4 move now this move is brilliant because you cannot push g4 immediately because this knight is threatening this square so you want to sacrifice your rook in order to protect this uh in order to protect this square because playing h6 is not allowing this bishop to come here so rook e4 is an amazing move to protect this square here of course with it accepts this trade and after rook picks up on e4 uh, there is simply no way of protecting this queen this queen is trapped unfortunately you would be so glad that you can play f5 but this is a crucial mistake because this queen was was here for for this pin and that is the reason why unfortunately you cannot push f5 so g5 is played with the last attempt but g4 calmly parham plays with it here is already on uh 35 seconds he's already uh, uh, really shaken by his uh, his blunder here you can uh, check it out if you want to watch a live uh, a live broadcast of this tournament you will see how he really handled it uh, uh, as every every player of that caliber would handle it unfortunately you had a really nice position uh, you were doing better and then your queen gets trapped so it's really sad and unfortunate for him and now uh, Vidit was forced to give up his queen knight picks up on h4 g takes on h4 and bishop takes on h6 and this was the last move of this game on the move 32 uh, Vidit resigned the game as you can see this game is completely lost black king is compromised white is simply winning with a huge material advantage and there is nothing here for black to do especially having only like one minute on the clock and this was all for today's game guys i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please make sure to leave a comment like and share this video with other people who enjoy chess because as you'll know this really helps me a lot with the youtube algorithm as and as you all know i want to make this channel a primary source of my income so uh, your comments and your shares really help me a lot also feel free to comment about this game uh, about tournament in general do you think Vidit has a bad tournament i think he ha he had unfortunately he's an amazing player but this tournament he's not feeling it uh, this game was such a promising game for him but unfortunately mistakes happen even on the strongest level and people and grandmasters fall for tactics 
if you wish to comment about anything else or if you wish to suggest a game or two please do let me know in the comments guys i always enjoy reading them and that's all for today guys i will continue updating you with more results and more fun games from this tournament and we will see each other on the next video have a nice evening bye bye